I'm going to follow the law. Last August, the 15th Circuit Solicitor's Office hired Ricky Todd to prosecute only DUI cases. Case numbers of the older cases. In March, State Supreme Court Chief Justice Gene Toll ordered all counties to clear up a massive amount of backlog DUI cases. And Horry County led the state with 1,545 pending DUIs. She asked very nicely in an order and said, here's the deal, you've got three months, let's get these old cases moved. Um, and do them as efficiently and uh, get the right results. From March to July, the county moved out 1,221 cases, but a majority of those, 702, were reduced or dismissed. I don't believe that's an average. Um, we do have some issues. The big thing was that uh, the 20-minute observation. That hit us, uh, you know, kind of from left field. The 20-minute observation rule, which has been in place since 2006, is this. Whether a suspected drunk driver accepts or refuses a breathalyzer test, police must videotape them for 20 minutes to observe them before processing. But Todd says police often skip the videotape observation for suspects who refuse the breathalyzer. Most people, um, from what I've seen, they don't provide a breath sample. So that means that a large percentage of those cases, probably 90% of those cases that did not provide a sample, if not more, um, there wasn't a 20 minute observation period. And in February, a court opinion came down reinforcing the code. We had this big gap of um, the officers being trained one way and the courts deciding something another way, which was after all these cases were um, said to be moved. Which meant more people receiving lesser charges. Horrible timing on number wise, yeah, it, it looks bad. Um, but is it the res right result? That's what the um, courts are saying, so who might argue with them?